Hey, Brooklyn Squad, what's going on? <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is doing great. I am going to This really got me upset doing these cases. Um, okay, first of all, let me introduce myself. If you don't know me, then you've been in the dark. My name is Brooklyn, and I do crimes on this channel, and we are doing missing people today. Actually, missing young girls right now. And as I was looking through a lot of these young girls, information i couldn't find no information so let's just get into it but before we get it get started i need y'all to do me a favor and it's not a favor it's actually free i need y'all to hit that like button because this video needs to really go out because these girls really 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 faces needs to be plattered because when i tell you what i'm about to tell you you will see why I say hit the like button, okay? Um, if you like to subscribe to my channel, I'm always grateful for that too. Since you since, since you're here and you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you, welcome. But I want to get right into it. So check this out. As I'm browsing through the internet today, right, to figure out which stories I'm gonna do, what platform I'm gonna do it on. I say missing, 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 missing. It's always missing, right? It's always something. Somebody's always missing. And that's the, the, the shit that gets me, right? Because they don't go boof in the air. They just don't go like magic and disappear, right? Some are runaways. Yes, you do have runaways, right? But most of the time, these, these, these people are being s traffic. Kidnap, any a lot of stuff. We we know what the deal is. We we know what the real deal is, right? So as I'm going through the the, the scrolling through the YouTube streets, shout out to Artic Fox because his job don't stop. He's always posted missing, 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 kidnap, like anything. He will post. 2407, you will catch it all the time on his channel, baby. Don't play with him, okay? So I creep over there and I see missing. It's a bunch of, you know, Artifacts is always doing missing, right? But it's a few that really caught my really caught me because I'm like, he's the only one that are doing these cases and I'm looking up and looking up and looking up and looking up some of these girls the freaking internet is dry that pissed me off do you know how irritated I was seeing this I couldn't believe what I was seeing I'm like all right let me look up this girl why can't I find her nowhere? I'm go I'm googling the girl, googling. Nothing. All right, let me go on. Let me go on YouTube. What? Nothing. Arctic Fox. That's it. Okay, let me go on Facebook. Okay, there's a group talking about her. One group. Come on, y'all. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. These girls are missing every day, every second somebody is missing. Stop rolling past and not sharing people's video. Stop getting cocky and animosity because you got a problem with somebody and you feel like, I'm not going to share that video because I don't like that bitch. Or whatever, however y'all be doing it out there. Understand, these are missing cases. <sighs> People just, just fucking disgust me, I swear. Ugh. Because if it was your kid or your grandson, 
or your granddaughter or your brother or anybody in your family, your bestie, I'm going to share and look for them and do whatever the hell I got to do to help. I don't care what problem I got with whoever. I don't care if your thumbnail look fucked up. I don't care if your wig is lopsided. I don't care whatever's going on. And this go for anybody. Anybody. Because I'm watching people actually... On Facebook, shout out to my Facebookers, man, because they share videos. Some of them actually do share the videos. Or they'll share a missing person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to some of my subs. They share, but it's not enough, y'all. And I mean, shout out to some. I made two of them. One or two. That's a shame. Because I got almost a thousand. Come on, y'all got to do better than that. Okay, shout out to Artie Fox. Shout out to Artie Fox, man, for real, for real. Shout out to Missing Foundation, for real. I mean, there's a couple of people. I'm going to do the shout outs tomorrow, though. But let me just get to this young lady. It just got me so upset because it's just like I could not find no information on this girl. And I'm not only saying it to the people that's not clicking. I'm talking about the news, baby, the news, too. What the hell are y'all doing? What y'all not putting out? What y'all not putting out, people? Why? What's going on? What's going on? The fucking police is waiting two or three days to put out a missing person report? What the hell is going on? That shit got me tight. And I'm going to... This young lady right here. Let's go with her. Jamia Sanford. How old is this young lady? November 24th, she decides she wants to go shopping. It's Black Friday. Let me let you know what my boy Arctic Fox had to say. And then we're going to watch a clip of him, a clip of the news, and then we're going to go back to my commentary. Because I got this from him, so I'm going to show, show you what he had to say about this. Okay. I couldn't believe it when I couldn't find no information on these girls, man. That shit just broke my heart. Oh, why is this not playing? Okay, here we go. All right, come on. What is going on, guys? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the missing persons case of Shemaya Sanford, who is missing out of Cleveland, Ohio. Shemaya was taken from the T-Mobile store located at 3340 Steel Yard Drive in Cleveland, Ohio on the 24th of November 2023 during Black Friday. It's unknown why the police have taken three days to report this kidnapping to the public, and they haven't released a lot of information about Shemaya, unfortunately. Police did not specify that the time that the kidnapping occurred or what she was wearing at the time, nor did they give any information on any potential suspects. Anyone with information on Shemaya or her whereabouts is asked to get in contact with the Cleveland Police at 216-621-1234 or Detective Beverage at 216-392-2736. Guys, this is an alarming situation. This young lady was kidnapped during, I guess she was shopping on Black Friday at the T-Mobile store, and she was abducted from the store. Again, police are not giving a lot of information out on this right now. How sick is that? How sick is that? The police wait three days? I thought it was two. Three days? To say anything? Wow. What well, well, goddamn police? Hmm, tell us how you really feel. And then they don't put enough information, put not even enough, don't put no goddamn information. I wouldn't even say enough. They ain't put no information on her. We don't know what the girl was wearing. What time this happened. We don't know nothing. 
So do they really want to find her? Of course not, because it seems like they don't. This is disgusting. Come on now. And so it's imperative that we do our part and get Shamaya's face out all over social right. media. Do me a favor. Give the video a mm -hmm. like. It does help more people to see Shamaya's face. And the more people that see her, the better the chances are that we can find her and bring her home mm -hmm. safe. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. And if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted whenever I post another missing persons video. The most important thing that I need for all of you to do right now is to simply click that share button, guys. Right. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever yes. you have social media. It only takes a second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world in whether we're able to find this young lady and bring her home safe or not. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Shamaya home safe. Amen. Share the video. Hit the like button. It's not for us, y'all. It's for the victims. Get the faces out there. <sighs> God, it just aggravates me. And it's not, it aggravated me because I couldn't believe, I couldn't really find nothing on these faith, on these young girls. There's a news report about her. So we're going to go to the news report. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh... Let's see what the police have to say. The police that waited three days <laughs> to say something about this young girl missing. Mm -hmm. News here. Police are looking for a woman missing since last week. The department's second district posted this on social media today. Investigators say Shamia Sanford was last seen at the Team Mobile store at Steel Yard Commons Friday. Authorities did not release any other specifics regarding the case. Anybody with information about her whereabouts is asked to call. You see how fast they going through that? Damn. Show some respect to the family. I don't even want to listen to them. Let's see if we can find the other news report. They just made me so damn mad, y'all. I just can't. Hmm. Have you seen Shamia Sanford? She was taken from this T-Mobile store at Steel Yard Commons on Black Friday. That was three days ago, according to Second District Police Detectives. Police didn't say under what circumstances or what time, nor did they give 19 News her age. So I went into T-Mobile to ask the store for a comment. Harry Boomer from Channel 19. Nice to meet you. Good. We're just here to ask about that. So I, Unfortunately, I can't let you guys in the store. Okay. Can you give me a comment about it? I cannot. Against our policy. Really? It's against your there policy. There's plenty of security at Steel Yards for Black Friday. We were approached today because our camera was spotted. 
People are concerned about this brazen kidnapping. They commented on the 19 News Facebook page. Andrea Gannon Green says, So I just clicked on the story and clearly the ball has been dropped here for this young, beautiful woman. Time is of the essence in these situations in order to have a good outcome. And the police know this. Jamie Elisa said the police just don't care about us women. And it's terrible. They drop the ball every time. Mm. Tina Pierce says three days. She could be anywhere by now. Right. Praying for her safe return. I mm. did talk with a T-Mobile patron as she was going into the store. Did you hear that on Friday, a young lady was kidnapped from this store? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Like Friday. Mm -mm. Just finding out about it today. Yep. Took a long time. Yeah. You feel safe down here? Still not. Mm. Cleveland police are asking the public for help. They say if you saw something, know something, please say something. Take a good look at her face. Um, this young lady is still missing. As you see, there's not much news coverage at all. Um, the, I did get some information. Allegedly, they're saying that she was not kidnapped at the store at Timo at the at the phone, you know, at the store. Um, I think that's bullshit. Um, I don't know what they're covering up. This girl obviously was kidnapped because where the hell is she hiding under a damn rock? And why is the cops acting like this? I mean, it's nothing new with them, but this is a real fishy one for them. It seems like the younger they get in, the more trafficking that's going on, allegedly. The holidays are coming. That's all I'm going to say. Be very, very careful. Very careful. And I know that probably won't fly. It probably um, Probably won't make sense to some people. But understand, right? Some kidnappers, they have rituals. That's what I'm going to say. Um, the next young lady is another missing case that I could not find anywhere. <clears throat> 15 years old, Ella Sandra is missing from Port Orchard, Washington. Okay. Oh boy, that's crazy. Matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact, matter of fact. No, matter of fact, let's go. Yeah, let's go to her. Yeah. Uh. Alessandra. Let me see something, y'all. Hold on. Okay. We are going to go to Arctic Fox again because he's the only one who, oh, you know what? Wait a minute. 
Hold on. Okay. Let me erase this. I was talking to him. Right here. Alessandra. Okay. Look at this young lady, man. <sighs> I gotta take my glasses off to see this right here. She was last seen from Port Orchard, Washington on September 9th. Okay. Uh, and her bike is missing. She has a, a green might a green mountain bike with her. She's five four five six. She weighs 115 pounds. Natural brown hair. Very court and very curly and short. Half blonde. Wow. She's a baby, y'all. Her name is Ella Star Sandra. Okay. Another missing girl. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I just can't. Freaking baby. She's missing from Port Orchard, Wyoming. Lost last seen on the 8th of September. So we are in December now, guys. It's been a few months. She left home between the hours of 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. What? 15 years old? She believed to have rode her green mountain bike from home on Brewster, Dr. South to Vega on Courtney Lake Road. But why? But no, mm -mm, that's that's really late. We think she went with the man she met online. Oh, no. OK, OK. Get it together, Brooklyn. Okay. Artix Fox also is where I got the story from before I looked on Facebook. And I want you to hear what he has to say. Damn. These girls with these men online. Please, 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 girls, stop it. Stop it. Stop messing with these men online, baby.
What's your sign? Mm. Mm. This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the missing persons case of 15 year old Ella Sanders, who is missing out of Port Orchard, Washington. Ella was last seen on the 8th of September 2023. She is 5 foot 4 inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. She currently has her hair very short. It's dyed, half of it is bleached brown, and half of it is blonde. She could possibly travel to Tacoma, Washington, or Vashon Island, Washington, or to possibly Vaughn, Washington. There was a possible sighting in Tacoma. Her last Google search was Fauntleroy Ferry. She has... A missing bicycle as well, a green mountain bike, uh, which is pictured on your screen. It's that same model and color. Her it sounds like she was looking for something on Google search before she went. Interesting. But I doubt if she's going to travel and meet a man online, he had to pull up in a car. These are predators. These are predators. And her bike is missing, though, too. So he probably had her drive, like, meet around the corner with her bike and then got her... Oh, I don't even want to think of it. I'm... Yeah. Mm. Family and friends are very concerned about her safety and well-being, as you can well imagine, because she's been missing for well over two months at this point. Jeez. Anyone with information on Ella or her whereabouts is asked to contact the Kitsap County Sheriff's Office. That number is 360-308-5400 and reference case number K2300-9105. Mm. Now, guys, this young lady's been missing, like I said, for over two months. And unfortunately, there is no Amber Alert out for her at this time. So we are going to have to be her Amber Jesus. Alert. What I need you guys to do is to give the video a like. It does help more people to see Ella's face. And the more people that see her, the better the chances are that we can find her and bring her home safe. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. And if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted whenever I post another missing persons video. But the most important thing that I need for all of you to do right now is to simply click that share button, guys. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media. It only takes a second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world and whether we're able to find Ella and bring her home safe or not. And yeah, that's very important, guys. Take a look at her face again. This innocent little girl is missing. Now, this is said that she could be with a predator. She could be with some guy she met online. Why do the kids do this? Why, why, why our kids don't listen to us? When we tell these kids, these monsters online, they... Don't do it, please. Just don't do it.
Um, Another young lady, Chloe Bonito Simmons. I couldn't find not one thing on this young lady online. Not one thing. Shout out to um Black and Missing Foundation, because that's where I found her at. Okay? So, this is, you know, that's why we say please share. If you don't want to hit the thumbs up, please share the video. Because, I mean, get a face out there. Share it on your, if you got a Facebook or if you're at the supermarket, make some copies, right? And just post these girls up. Do something like that, please. I'm going to start doing that too. Not only share, because when I share it, I just don't share it on my Facebook. Honey, you're going to find this on TikTok. You're going to find it on Twitter. You're going to find it on Instagram. You're going to find this on Facebook or Facebook platforms. You're going to go to somebody's group and you're going to find it on their group, my stuff on their group. I'm known. You're going to go to Chicago. You're going to find it there. Listen. Okay? So, yeah. You will hear. Yeah, I don't play. Like, share. Okay? Um, she's been missing since October 26th this year, 14 years old. Oh man, she's a baby. Bristown, VA, Virginia. She's 5'9", 120 pounds, black hair, black shoulder length and uh brown color eyes chloe was last seen on october 25th by her father derek simmons considered endangered and may possibly be in the southern maryland area she may be with another 15 years old boy who'll be wearing dreadlocks red colored dreadlocks that's what they got to say about that one So she with a shorty, allegedly. She might be with a boy. Let's hope this young girl gets found, okay? I'm going to, oh, wrong. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Child, look at Carissa. Mm, hold on. Because, I mean, I could just put me down and then you could guys could look at it right here. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, Wait a minute. Let me see something. There was something I wanted to... Where is that? What's that? Okay. The next one is Caitlin Nicole Whitney, 17 years old, couldn't find nothing on this young girl but two posts, Arctic Fox and a post somewhere else. So let's go to Facebook. Mm. 
Okay. This this young lady. Seventeen years old, Caitlin Nicole Weller, aka Little Bit. She's 5'3, she weighs 115 pounds, and she has a nose piercing, okay? Which is a, a she has a cross chain, a cross chain, a chain that's for a cross. She also has a bed necklace that says Blake. Her mother's information is down below, which I tried to call. No, no person's voice, but just went straight to, to the voice messages mail. Then I tried to text and that didn't go, I couldn't get no, I don't know. That was weird. Um, but there's multiple numbers here. Uh, it says nonviolent. When I looked up information on this young girl, couldn't find nothing. Google, you suck, Google. I mean, you good for something, but goddamn. Like, you know, Google's supposed to be the shit. Google used to be my best friend, but damn. And you know what? It's not even Google fault. It's because people don't share videos and people is not sharing. People not hitting the like button. People's not getting faces out. And that's what happened. So, please, let's get these young ladies out. Okay? Let's bring them home to their parents. Bring them home to their parents. Pretty, 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 pretty young girl. Doesn't say the when she's been missing though. That's the thing. Doesn't say it on a flyer. Let's see if I can find another flyer. No. So. Mm -hmm. It's a shame, you know. Can't find nothing on this young girl. <clears throat> And the last young girl, which this young girl was plattered everywhere. And I'm sure you guys remember this case because we did this case when it first happened. She was the little girl that went missing. Uh From the park. The Lucas, the Lucas, the Lucas. Matter of fact, hold on, guys, let me see something. Here she go. Miss Santa Lucas Adverger, 
turned eight years old this week, and that was last year. She, this was her eighth birthday celebration. Such a shame. I haven't had a Chick-fil-A sandwich in over three years. It was late at night. We were closing and the phone rings. Stephen explains his situation and I told him to come Remember inside. Remember this we little girl did this? Like. Stephen gobbled up that sandwich in like two bites. It's been a while since Jersey. we've seen him. We miss him. We brought a care package for Steve. I'll take that. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> It was September 16, was 2019, when, when little Dulce Maria Elevis disappeared from a city park in Bridgeton, New Jersey. She was five years old then. Well, today is her eighth birthday, and while police are still investigating the disappearance, family and friends are just now holding a vigil. Live at Bridgeton City Park is New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman. Trish? Well, Jim, the birthday celebration is underway here in this park where Dulce was last seen in 2019. You can see behind me some of the colorful balloons and decorations that have been put up here. Friends and family have gathered to mark this occasion. Dulce Alaves turns eight years old today. She was five years old when she disappeared from this park. Her family and law enforcement still have hope that she is alive. In the park where Dulce Maria Alaves was last seen, party decorations were hung. Moana themed, one of her favorite movies. Her birthday is today and she's supposed to be eight. And she's not here with me or my family and it's hard. Noema Alaves Perez spoke with Action News on her missing daughter's eighth birthday. I feel sad empty that Dulce is not here today. These age progressed photos show what Dulce may look like today. Police say the five-year-old was playing in this park behind Bridgeton High School on September 16th, 2019, when she disappeared. It was around 4.20 p.m. and she was playing with her three-year-old brother. Her mother was in her car while the children played and didn't see what happened to Dulce. An Amber Alert was issued and authorities asked people to look for a man in a red van. In September, a woman Now, allegedly, her mother was doing, helping the other sibling in her van doing homework. I believe it was homework or something like that. While the other baby and the other one was playing in the park. And just like that, her daughter was gone. Just like that. And it's been, what, three years now? Gone on three years? It's crazy, man. You cannot let your eye off these kids for nothing. Walk and vigil was held to mark the two-year anniversary of her disappearance. Days ago, the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office posted about the open case on social media, saying, in the absence of evidence to the contrary, we hold out hope. Days ago, the Cumberland County of her disappearance for a man in a red van. In September, a walk and vigil was held to mark the two year anniversary of her disappearance. Days ago, the Cumberland County Prosecutor's for Office man posted in about red the open van? case on social media, saying, in the absence of evidence to the contrary, we hold out hope that she is alive. We really do utilize a no stone left unturned. So, you know, in addition to age progressions and getting the poster yeah. out there, um, encouraging people uh, to share. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children created the two different age progressed photos of Dulce once she had been missing for about two years in hopes that someone may see her. It's a prediction, but it's really to help spark recognition of the child. Now, Dulce's father, who lives in Mexico, was questioned during the initial investigation. He had repeatedly denied having anything to do with Dulce's disappearance. Anyone with any information can report it to the Bridgeton Police Department or the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office. And tips can be made anonymously. Reporting live in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Also, her father lives in... Mexico. Okay. I thought that the uh, father always must be the stepfather or something like that is there. Interesting. Oh, boy. That's a tough, that's... 
my prayers go out. Really, you know, I just noticed that the mother did an interview on Dr. Phil because allegedly the cops thought she did it. And allegedly, they did a lie detector test on them. So if you want to look at that interview with me, let me know in the comments down below. And we can watch it together, a reaction of it. But um, this is the end of the video. Please, guys, hit the like button. Share the video. I hope no one takes any heat to what I said about, you know... Uh, I'm just being real, like share the video because these are, you know, these are innocent faces that are out there and time is clicking, you know, but sometimes people could take in the wrong direction. Like, oh, she's talking to me or she's talking to me. I'm talking to everybody. Body. So, <laughs> you know, the, the please don't take nothing to heart. You know, that's just the facts, you know, because sometimes people could think that, oh, I know she's talking about me when she said it. Like, baby, I'm talking about everybody. Okay. Um, I share videos that I don't know people, the content creators. I just share it because they're missing kids. You know what I'm saying? They ain't do nothing to us. If my daughter goes missing, oh, God forbid. Oh, my God. If anything happens to any of my babies, I will hope that y'all help me find mine. But then again. You never know. Because some people is just that. You know, spiteful. They wish badness on you. You know, I couldn't do nothing like that. You know, but y'all share this video. Pray for the pray for these loved ones that um they get found. And until then, I will see you guys another time. Like maybe tomorrow. Peace. I'm out. Oh, if y'all want to um, see the interview of the mother and Dr. Phil, let me know in the comments down below. You guys, bye. Be safe out there, please. And be kind to everybody. Because you never know. Might be the last time you will ever see that person. In your words... The hurtful things you say might be the last words that you remember. Peace out, y'all.